look at what's going on in Rebecca's garden. Rebecca is a lucky winner uh, this month for Greengate Gardens Makeover, and Jill's hanging out there. What's new? Well, there's actually lots going on here, Tara. So this is Rebecca's vegetable garden, and as we can see, she has quite a green thumb. She's got lots going on here in her garden, uh, but always room to build, of course. So tell us what you've been growing here so far. Um, I've got uh, three varieties of carrots. I've got two orange regular carrots. I also have purple carrots this year. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> um, and I've got some uh, radish and turnip and some beets that are looking very sad. I don't know if I'll have beets this year, but... Um, Where are the beets? <laughs> they're so small you can't see them. Aww. They're uh, oh, there they are. John yeah, knows where. Them. Okay. And okay, um, we'll see if we can salvage the beets yeah. for you. You've got lettuce. You've got some fruit. You've got an herb garden. And some beans. Wow. Yellow beans. <laughs> Color me impressed, Rebecca. So great. Okay, so John, tell us what we're going to be working with here. We're talking about care of the vegetable garden. Are those beets salvageable? Well, maybe not for this year. Okay. But we can get some trips to do it better next year. Uh -huh. And, of course, that's always soil quality uh, all the way, as I always say. Okay. So, sea soil. Always sea soil. Some gypsum, soften up that clay, make it usable. Um, add a few nice small space, so you, a small a few bags go a long way, right. just to improve that soil. And then you just keep adding every summer or I mean, every spring, just to increase that soil and better and better success every year. Okay, fantastic. Are there things that we can do to improve soil at this point now that everything's planted? Yeah, there's a few things we can do. We can, in between the rows, put down some compost. Okay. Sea soil is always my favorite. Um, put that down between the rows. Um, add some slow-release fertilizer like pink, which is organic based. Yeah. Give them as much nutrients as possible to maximize the yield for Rebecca. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, in terms of if things have gone, have these plants gone to seed? Yes. Okay. So, uh, now, can we change that or no? Um, fortunately, not really. Mm -hmm. It's because of being tight, tight together and being the hot week we had in the last little while, the last right. hot weather, caused them to bolt fast, which stops their production of the root vegetable that you planted them for the first time. Right. And, um, yeah, so what you can do is you can either rip them out, put down some new compost, and reseed some other cold crops, some new lettuce or some new quick-growing crops, yeah. and then go from there. Okay. So you can maximize your yield in that space. Even though that didn't work, you can still do something. Okay. And it's, so it's not too late to be planting new things. Yep. Just after we get up past this hot weather, you can start replanting some of those cold crops again. Okay, fantastic. She's really got a lot going on here. Sure does. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, fantastic. And if you'd like to have a garden makeover from Green Gate, you still can. There is still time. Just go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, find the contest page, upload a picture of your garden just like Rebecca did, and we could be knocking on your door early with the help of John Duncan from Green Gate and bringing you along a lot of things to make your garden fresh and delightful and lush. All of the things that we do here <laughs> this morning. And there's an additional surprise for Rebecca, so stay tuned for that. Ah, okay, more from Rebecca's garden in just a little bit.